her own liar. She's played us for a fool, all right. You know, I thought it were weird when she phoned in sick this well, morning. I said, didn't I remember? It sounded odd when I phoned yeah. her. I mean, normally she comes in even if she's dying. No wonder she panicked when I said I'd come round. How long do you think it's been going on then? We'll soon find out. Well, hang on. What? Well, if he's going to be coming back with a takeaway. That's what it looked like. Well, instead of going in there all guns blazing, we could have ourselves a little fun here. Everything all right? Probably not. Same again and one for yourself. Oh, cheers. You go steady now, right? Might do. Then again, might not. So, you think you'll get this residence order for Simon? Yeah, according to the solicitor. Oh, I think it's terrible you've got to go through all this. Yeah, well, there's no choice after the way Peter's behaved. I suppose it's best to keep it civil for Simon's sake. Yeah, he's a priority. There you go. Top there. Point please, Tina. Oh, yeah, Why do you think I'm celebrating? Oh, has she come round? Yep, and she's gonna be fine. Oh, that's oh. wonderful. <laughs> she's got to stay in hospital a bit, but she's on the mend. Oh, no, no, on the house, mate. Ah, oh, cheers. So, can she remember what happened then? Yeah, all bears out what Anne and Carla said. The police want to talk to her, but that's just a formality. Oh, with a bit of luck, she can put it all behind her. Well, let's hope so. Ah, that's great news, Kev. I say that calls for another drink. thought we'd come and look after you, didn't we? Yeah, brought you some food. Oh, darling, thank you, but I really couldn't eat anything. Well, we'll leave it anyway. You might pick up later. Oh, yes, all right, thank you. Aren't you going to invite us in? Oh, yeah. No, you don't want to come anywhere near me, sweetheart. I am riddled with germs. You don't look that bad to me. Oh. Well, you wouldn't think that if uh, you'd got what I got, David, I can show you. Well, we'll keep our distance, won't we? Yeah. Well, look, yeah, um, I'll, I'll just take the food, darling. Thank you very much. Uh, who are you expecting? What? Well, when you opened the door, you went, ooh, that was quick. Oh, did I? Yeah, you did. <coughs> well, <coughs> um... Uh, it, oh, t it was the neighbour saw I wasn't at work, so rang to say, should she pop round? Oh, even though you don't want visitors? Well, I was just going for a lie down, actually, so I think I will. Well, I'll just warm the soup through and then you can it Yes! Sorry through the window, as I was passing. Yeah, I'm just having five minutes. You had a good day? Oh, the usual. What? Down the library? Yeah, that kind of thing, you know. Listen, Tracy, I've been thinking... You know, it must uh... be so nice being retired. Not having work to go to, pottering about the whole day. Yeah, well, that's the romantic view of retirement. Yeah. I suppose if you're used to working your whole life, it must be weird not having a job to go to. And not just when you're retired. Place to go where you feel wanted, have a natter with your mates. But the thing is, Tracy, oh, I really... Is that the time? I've got to go to the dry cleaners before they close. Dad, you couldn't do me a favour, could you? They could pay me from a party. What? 27 Incomer Street, Susie Taplow, the little girl's called. Well, oh, thank you could. so much. You are a lifesaver. See you later. All right, best get on. Oh, I bet Sophie's relieved. Viola, it's been a nightmare. Oh, we'll give Sally our love. I will do. I'll see you, Kev. See you. Bye, Bye, Kevin. Kev. Oh, well, that's good news. Yeah, actually, I better be making tracks and all. You know, I feel really terrible. Why? Well, all this frank business. I mean, I was one of the ones that accused Carla of lying. Easy mistake to make. Oh, come on, we mustn't joke about it. I mean, it's because of people like me that women don't come forward. Well, by. I'm sorry, but I'm finding it very difficult to rustle up any sympathy for her right now. She took away my husband and she took away Simon's happiness and I'll never forgive her for that. Never. <sighs> Does Dev know you're here? Devu. He disappears without saying anything, so can I. Oh, sounds like you two have had a bit of a row. Uh, Tina. What? I think someone needs serving. Ah, <gasps> oh, all right, OK. 
How do you fancy the beast drill? Why? Well, it's a shame to waste a night off in here. Don't you have to be here? I'm the boss. I can do what I like. Won't it look bad drinking with the competition? Mm. Everybody needs a change now and then. Besides, we don't make cocktails as well as they do. Let's go. Yeah. What? Sitting on your fat backside doing nothing. <laughs> if the staff can have a break, so can I. All right. I've been at it all day. All right, I'm only joking. What's up with you? I'm going out with Sunita. Out where? It's the beast draw for a drink. We well, can have a drink here. Yeah, but I think she wants to talk. We can't do it here. Well, hang on, how long are you going to be? As long as it takes. Oh, so I'm just left slaving away here while you go out on our busiest night of the week? You got Tina. Oh, I've got Tina, that's all right, then. What do you want to talk about, anyway? This Amber thing. What Amber thing? She had a party, trashy house, big row with Dev and Sunita. Last I heard, she was leaving home. Who told you this? Sunita, when she came in. Oh, no wonder she's putting it away like there's no tomorrow if that's what's happened. If you see Dev, tell him that she's with me. See you later. Yeah, yeah. Been very naughty. Took this soup from the bistro. Well, I couldn't actually eat a thing, girl, honestly. You've got to have something. Keep your strength up. Right, shall I stick all this in the bin? Yes. No, no, it's full. Oh, hello. Who's been at the chocolates? <laughs> Was me last night. <laughs> well, no wonder you've got a poorly tummy. If you've eaten all them. No, I haven't got a poorly tummy, girl. I've got a bug. Good. You'll be able to eat some soup then. Shall I set table then? Yeah. Do you know we could have had those chocolates for pudding? Do you want something apart from soup? Do you want some um, cheese on toast? No, soup, it's a carrot and cream. And, um, Scrambled egg? I'll call him that. Hey, it's early yet. We want to pace ourselves. So, Amber trashed the house and then wanted an apology. Do you mind if we don't talk about it? I've had it up to here. No, sure. I feel the same. Although Dev should have backed me up a bit more. Well, quite. I know she's his daughter, but she's 21. She's hardly a baby. Exactly. He's got two young children. That should be his priority, not her. I couldn't agree more. You should have seen the mess. The brass neck of it all. I wouldn't feel guilty, love. I really wouldn't. Actually, I'm sick of talking about it. Do you mind? No, let's talk about something else, then. What are you doing for Easter? <sighs> Nothing I shouldn't think after that. I mean, how dare he blame me for her going? Where's Amy? She's having a tea with us. Oh, that's great, Dad. So can I get you a drink or no, anything? No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I've come, actually. You no, know, if Amy's with you tonight, I might go out if that's OK. I didn't say we were having her all night. Would that be a problem, though? Well, yes. Quite frankly, it would. And that's why I'm here. Because this kind of thing has gone on long enough. What kind of thing? You taking everyone for a ride. What? Your mother, me, Steve. Oh. Is this about the top that I bought? It's about your whole attitude. You take everybody for granted. You have us all scurrying around doing things for Amy that you should be doing yourself. Oh, right. Well, if you don't want to be part of your granddaughter's life, that's fine. Oh, yeah, and don't start the emotional blackmail. You know she means the world to us. Oh, well, it sounds like it. Look, Tracy, it's time you started to face responsibility instead of using your family like some sort of unpaid nannying service. Right. Well, that's me told. I'm sorry if it's blunt, but it's the only way to get through to you these days. You know, everybody has just got it in for me. Well, we'd be less critical if you found a job and started to pay your way for a change. Oh, like you can just go out and get one in this recession? Not easy, but at least you could try. I've got you the Gazette to get you started. Jobs are on page 33. I've ringed a few that you might find interesting. Yeah. And I suggest you start looking first thing in the morning. This is so unfair. Tracy, you can like it or lump it, but the free ride ends here. What do you think, ma'am? 
got ginger in it. Good for your tummy. Yes, well, I think that I feel very poorly and I'd really like to go and lie down. Oh, don't let us stop you. No, we'll finish up here and then tidy up. I know you've got my best interests at heart, but I would prefer to be left in peace. We couldn't leave you with all this washing up. Yes, you can, Gail. <laughs> wonder who that is. Maybe that neighbour, is it, Gran? You don't let him have a key, do you? I see what you mean about a long drive. <laughs> Lewis, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> this been going on? It's absolutely none of your business. And when were you going to tell me? Actually, I refuse to be cross-examined. I've done nothing wrong. So why were you sneaking around in secret? Because I knew you'd give me the third degree like you're doing now. I believe it when I saw you on the step with him outside. Oh, yeah, so this was all pretense, was it? All pretending to come and help me. Yes, Mother. We lied to you. Like you've been lying to us. Look, this is my life. I shall do what I want. I don't have to justify it to you. And who's going to pick up the pieces when it all goes wrong again? Which it will. So what have you come back for now, then, eh? The house, the salon? No, I completely understand your misgiving. Slippery tongue. I'm glazing over already. The only reason I'm back is because I love Audrey. Oh, please. My intentions towards her are entirely honourable. You don't even know the meaning of the word. Lewis has changed. You're a poor fool if you believe that. Hey, hey, I resent that remark. Yes, I bet you do. This is my mother you're conning with your oily gigolo ways. That is enough. Come on out. I don't have to stand here and listen to all this rubbish in my own. No, you'd rather listen grand. to his rubbish like she, a silly, stupid you're school You're a tyrant. Person. She's school only trying to save you. Get yeah. out, 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 and don't come back. Let me come. At least she's chucked us out. I've got us more drinks. Double strength this time. I think you've had enough, love. I've hardly started. This isn't the answer to your problems, you know. I'm not looking for answers. I just want a bit of fun. <sighs> I think we should get you on. You see that bloke in the corner? He were giving me glad eye when you were on Lou. It's quite fit, isn't it? I can't deny that. Yeah, he's got a mate. One for each of us. Which one do you fancy? Oh. Come on, love, let's go on. Oh, we can't go now. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, oh I'm so, so sorry. It's all right, let's just leave it. Come on. Oh, will he stay? Come on. Will sir. he wash up? Let's go. Come on. I'm sorry, sorry. Right, now be careful. All right. I'm going to walk you across the street. I feel so free tonight. <laughs> Do you feel free, Stella? You mean, don't I feel drunk? <laughs> let's go into town and really let our hair down. Yeah, another time, maybe. Oh, no, we can pick up a cab out of streetcars. We really need to get you home. Or, or better still, we can sit here and wait for a lift. It'd be cheaper. Oh, come on, Sunita, I'm not in the mood. It's not very comfy, this one. I wonder what the roof's like. Sunita! Oh. <laughs> Sunita! <laughs> this is better. What are you doing? I'm reaching for this lovely sky. Oh. Hey, hey, do you mind? Hello, you. That's my car you're standing on. You can give me a lift, Look, I'm then. really sorry, I'm trying to get Will you down. just get off it? You'll have to Before come and get me. Would you get, get off. your wife down? I think. Yeah, Dad. Come and take me home before this sexy bloke sweeps me off. All my I feet. want is me car back before she kicks it to bits. I'll do something. Yeah, you wanted Dad, to join these two for a drink. Because you are a mover. Just energy. get off. Sunita, will you get down, please? Stay from the up here. I said get off. No! <laughs> is this your car, sir? Yes, it is, yeah. Do you know this lady? I've never met her before in my life. You liar! You couldn't take your eyes off me in that bar. Oh. I'm really sorry, officer. I'm trying to get her on. Oh, you're the sober oi, one, I suppose, eh? Just get down. It's an accident. Come down straight away, madam. Why should I come down? Because I'm politely asking no, you to. You don't want to get in yourself into trouble, do He's you? He's going to stop me get from down. having fun. Come down. No! <laughs> right. Dev. I did try. Dev? Yeah, Dev! Dev? Dev! No, sir. I can't believe she'd be so stupid. He's got her wrapped around his little finger. He's not going to rest until he's taken her for every penny she's got. Yeah, I know that. It's her you've got to convince. Yeah, well, don't you worry. 
I'm going to be on her case every hour God sends until I have. You managed to eat something then? I didn't realise how hungry I was. Even hospital food tastes nice when you've not eaten for two days. Uh, is it too late, visitors? Go on then. Call me if you need anything. Oh, OK. Thanks. Kevin told me you'd come round. How are you feeling? Just lucky to be alive. I hope you don't want me coming. It's just, I think we've got a lot to talk about, don't you? So, you do your best and you give your all, and what do you get in return? I don't know, but I reckon he's going to tell us. What? What? Nothing. No, it's worse than nothing, Tina. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you get kicked in your face. You know what I'm talking about, right, Carl? Oh, yeah, well, we've yeah. all been there, mate. Of course, injustice! Let's give it a name. <laughs> I tell you, you do everything to hold your family together and uh, it's funny. Oh, thanks for helping me out out there. Excuse me? She's now been arrested. And? Y you should have done something. Who's been arrested? Sunita. Sunita? What for? Well, take your pick. Drunk and disorderly, criminal damage. Damage to what? A windscreen wipe while she was getting down off that bloke's car, while you watched. So where is she now? At the police station. So what do you expect me to do? Go and get her. She needs you. <laughs> She lost me a daughter today. Your daughter has gone off in a strop. That's all. Sunita hasn't lost no, you she anything. She lost me a daughter today. Right, and if she got herself into any kind of trouble, that's her problem. You can't be serious. Yeah, and if she's drunk, then uh, let me keep her in a slammer overnight. It'll teach her a lesson. Oh. Cheers. Oh, what, have you spoken to the police? Oh, somebody came around this afternoon. I told them everything I could remember. Sally, you were spark out on the landing when I got round there. Kevin said that you talked hand down. Mm, it was best of good. I was terrified. Me too. When I realised she'd done it. Look, I'm really sorry. No, no apologies. No. I feel terrible. I said some horrible things Look, to you. Sally, you were taken in by him, as was I. I just feel so stupid. How do you think I feel? I can't begin to imagine. Look, we were both victims, weren't we? Well, it's very big of you to see it that way. Hey, you were the one that realised it was Anne. I would have pinned it on me if I hadn't been for that, so... Thank you. <laughs> I am back in charge of Underworld now, so... Isn't it half frank still? 40%, Sally. <laughs> it's all a bit academic for now, so... Well, good luck with it. Well, the thing is, Sally, is... I was wondering if you'd consider coming to work for me. <laughs> me? Well, only if you'd want to, obviously. I just thought you might be looking for a job. <laughs> of course I would. Uh, I don't know what to say to you after everything I've done. Sally, it's not a charity case. It's just I need all the good workers I can get, and you're good. <laughs> well, if you're absolutely sure... I wouldn't have asked otherwise. <laughs> I'd like that very much. This behind us together, yeah? Mm. What's this for? Well, saving family caution for criminal damage. Do anything like this again and we won't be as lenient. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. Drink, Mrs. Hallahan, is what came over you. The gentleman who's car you damaged will be in touch through his insurance company. That won't be a problem. Now, don't let's see you here again. So, how will I get home? Weatherfield's got an excellent public transport system. Unless you prefer to be dropped off outside your house in a police car. No, no, I'll be fine. What are you doing here? Couldn't leave you here on your own, could I? Come on. Just get down here. 
Yeah, but don't seem too keen on coming to pick you up for some reason. Perhaps it's just as well, stay with me. I can't believe this has happened. Come on, let's get you on. This is so embarrassing. Hey, come here. <laughs> like a vampire for being out of control and then I do exactly the same. I feel so ashamed. You've been under a lot of pressure today. That's no excuse. I'm the mother of two children. And it'll never happen again. Don't be so hard on yourself. Thanks for coming to get me. Well, somebody had to. I must look a right mess. That is something you'll never have to worry about. No. Come on. You must know you are the sexiest thing on legs round here. That's news to me. Men would kill. And what would you do? Would you kill? <laughs> now I've done something else stupid. No, forget it. Oh, it's going from bad to worse. Tania. I'm sorry. How are you going to get home? I'll get a cab, I'm fine. Oh, God, Mother, what's she playing at? She's like one of them older women that go out with younger men. The cougar. More like Freddy Krueger. Yes, Madge, it seems, has got a toy boy in tow next tonight. We're off to Benidorm. <laughs>